No war crime happiness. Was that deep enough for Soul Pancake? <laughs> Hi, I'm Bertie Louise Taylor, and my channel is youtube.com forward slash Bertie Louise Taylor. Oh, so original. I do music video parodies and sketches, and I'm a huge dork. The first video that I made that probably like really was like still my favorite video is my Miley Cyrus Party in the USA video, because it was like right when I found out that my dad had cancer. So it was like I, I wanted to do something really cool that like was saying no matter what point you are in your life, like that you don't lose hope, like it all gets better. So that one meant a lot to me. My purpose, I. <sighs> I think my purpose is just to give back. I, yeah, I just I just want to work hard and do stuff that means something and touches people, and then you know use what I whatever blessings that I get to help other people. I think we everyone wants to be remembered. I think it's like you know we don't want to be that we go through this lifetime and people don't know who we are because like I think everyone wants to feel like they're substantial in some way. I mean I don't, I honestly don't really care about fame. Like I just want to make really cool stuff that lasts beyond me because like fame isn't real. It's, it's, fame is infatuation and infatuation is fleeting. Like the relationships in your life are what are important. If I had one hour left to live, I would be like, if I wasn't around my family, I'd be talking to people that I love and telling them that I love them and I'm like, go on and rock it out. So yeah, I would just be like all the people that really matter to me, I'd want them to know uh, how much they matter to me. That's not big enough, sorry. Hold on, we gotta do this. See, okay, okay, ego. I think the key is to be confident and still be humble. So I mean, so I, I think some people are confident and arrogant. So I think it's just still knowing that you're no better than the person that picks up your trash or waits on you. Like we're all equal. I think more men and women aren't best friends because they don't spend enough time together. I mean, you realize like when you're around guys that guys are just the same as girls. They're just a little more perverted than we are. But yeah, you just you spend enough time around the opposite sex and you realize like we're really very similar. I think in just society, we're all so scared of each other, we don't need to be. Like, just be yourself, and if people don't like you, and then you don't want to be around them anyway. Love is unconditional. I really, I think it's like, it's it's like, I think also love is a choice, it's a commitment, it's like being in a tough situation and not, like, not pulling out, like, willing to stick through. I think that's true love. Like, when things get really hard, you're, you're in it, no matter what it is. Like, if a parent gets sick, or like, you're going in a tough time in your relationship, you really love each other, it's just sticking in it and staying. I don't think I know anything for sure. I think that I'm learning all the time and I make, sometimes I make this mistakes and I end up making, you know, I usually learn from those and then I make different mistakes. <laughs> Son, dude, I don't know. I think I wrestle with a lot, like, have I done enough? Like, I'm a workaholic, so it's always like, have I accomplished enough today? Like, am I pushing myself hard enough? Like, was that my best? That's my life's big question. Soul Pancake, subscribe!